have you ever wondered that the data that is all around us what is this data and how it is used to make big decisions in all sort of different areas from business to science and to government but what exactly is this data and how you can classify it in this video we're going to talk about mainly two different types of data qualitative data and quantitative data so whether you are a student or a working professional or someone who is curious about the world of data this video will provide you all that you need to know about data so stay tuned please don't go anywhere else just sit back relax and enjoy this video so before we deep dive into the types of data let us first start with basics what is data so data is a collection of facts such as values or measurements that can be processed or analyzed to derive the meaningful insight from it think of it as a building block of knowledge now let us see the different sources of data the sources of data can either be primary or secondary let's start with the primary data first so primary data is the information that is collected from source that we collect the first hand information directly from the source that we are conducting a survey or asking the people about their favorite ice cream flavor the response that you get are the primary data here this data is original because you are collecting first hand information and specific to your research making it super valuable for drawing any conclusion out of this data and making any decisions based on this next is the secondary data which on the other hand is the information which is has already been collected by someone else for different purpose this data can come from various sources like books articles or even the research studies using the secondary data it saves time and effort but it is essential to verify its reliability and relevance for your specific study let's say you are researching the ice cream industry growth over the past decade you find data from government reports that shows the steady rise in ice cream sales this secondary data strengthens your analysis and adds credibility to your findings now you can also categorize data into two major categories qualitative and quantitative here quantitative data is objective measurable and numeric and deals with quantities and is expressed in numbers it deals with quantities and answers questions like how much and how many qualitative is the quality data is subjective descriptive and often expressed in words and describes something but cannot be expressed that in measured or in numbers it answers questions like what kind or why quantitative data is bifurcated into discrete and continuous data and qualitative data is bifurcated into nominal and ordinal data now let us see some practical applications of these data in real life so see we'll start with the number of goals that are scored in the football match in this context the goals scored in football match you can count the actual number of goals scored and they are always be in the whole numbers like 1 2 or 3 there will not be any fraction continuous values for goals in this match each goal is a distinct event that can be counted then the number of correct answers in any exam or a question paper similarly like when it comes to number of correct answers the data is also discrete you can count the number of questions student answered correctly and these are whole numbers for example student might get 15 correct answers or the 20 correct answers here let's talk about dogs dogs can have both qualitative and quantitative attributes as well as some discrete and continuous characteristics let's explore this aspect we we'll start with qualitative 
we have breed the breed of dog is a qualitative attribute in this case it is a german shepherd next is the color it can be black and brown hairs that german shepherd have then we have the energy it is full of energy let's look at the quantitative data for these dogs first we categorize in the, as discrete data so in that case it is age five years and then the number of puppies you can see three puppies so that is the discrete it you cannot have two and a half puppy or one and a half puppy or three and a half puppies it is three then on the continuous scale we have height 23.5 kg is weight and the height as 24 inches so in summary uh, i would say the dog possesses both qualitative and quantitative attributes and this is just an example here the qualitative attribute describe the characteristics that falls into categories or groups while quantitative attributes involve measurement expressed as a numerical value additionally some characteristics like of dog like height weight can be discrete or continuous depending upon the level of precision that you want that is the practical application that i wanted to bring in this uh, different types of data and statistics so if you are still watching this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do press the bell icon for all the notification from digital e-learning and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button as well share this video with all your friends and colleagues and in case if you have any suggestions or comment do let me know in the comment box below now is the quiz time on this topic so read the questions carefully and leave your answers in the comment section below first question which of the following is an example of quantitative data favorite color number of books on the shelf types of car and movie channel question number two if you want to analyze the why behind the customer choices which type of data would be most useful quantitative data qualitative data either of above or none of the above third question which of the following is an example of qualitative data temperature in degrees celsius age of student in the classroom feedback rating on scale of one to five martial status like single married or divorced so you can leave your answers in the comment section below